Okay, um, someone was asking me how to uh, load up a mod and get it working and everything inside the world in conflict. So, this is what I got. Um, basically, you're going to start the game. It's going to be, you know, opening screen. You go to options. You're going to go to select mod. And I believe there you were trying to use no hope, so we'll let it go with that one. You're going to select it. Go to select mod. Okay, so apparently it doesn't like switching over when Fraps is running. So, anyways, this is going to be your uh, opening screen when the mod is loaded. So, what you're going to want to do is just go to multiplayer. You're going to set up a local network. Create server. Make it whatever. You can set your match length. I usually go very long just because, you know, it gives you enough time to screw around or whatever. Set the max players. Set to like 8 or whatever. You know, select your uh, level. Dome or whatever. And then, uh, add your, add the bots. So, you're gonna make it, uh, player versus bots, I believe. Uh, this one. Okay, so you're gonna be on faction one. Computer's gonna be on faction two. So, you click the, uh, thing. And it sets however many is gonna be in there. You can set the difficulty to easy, normal, hard. So, say you got four. You click OK. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we're gonna select a team. So you're gonna be in the US, or you can switch sides if you want. Um, I put um, support. I'm gonna have anti air. Take out the helicopters, that way you can build up points pretty quick. So we're gonna look here. We're gonna have the different units. If we go over here. We'll see, you know, whatever we have. The Smart Merv, Cruise Missile Barrage. Then you have, you know, the Trident D5 Thermal Warhead, B-52 Nuke Bomber, Tactical Nuke, the Rain of Fire. You know, these are the all new uh, things that the mod adds. So that's a quick way to check, to see if it, uh, if your mod worked. Airdrop Nuke Launcher, that's pretty fun, so. Once you get things going here, we'll, uh, let's see, anti-air, drop a couple of these. Your reinforcements will be there in no time. Usually takes a while. Not a bad game. I remember having this game back uh, when it first came out, I believe in 07, on my laptop. It ran okay. I think I had it on high Your settings. reinforcement has arrived. Air okay. missiles are very accurate. So basically we're going to go uh, helicopter hunting because the whole team is going to be helicopters. Chaparral is moving to new ground, sir. Right now it's about 60 frames a second. On high settings, everything. Moving the heavy AA to the designated area. Helicopter is going to be off to our, uh, I believe the north side over here. You can see him hovering, I think. I don't know, there's a parachute. Going to move the anti air missiles now. So, make sure when you download a mod, make sure you read the README file to properly install it before you try getting into the game and selecting it. Uh, usually helps a lot. I don't have. You're gonna have to do this a few times. I mean, it's... Tracking that bird, firing a missile. They've got one of your units. You can build up. So we got enough for airdrop nuke launcher. We'll drop this we'll bad boy We're right there. And there we go. Boom. All the points start racking up.
there you have it. So anyways, that's how you do the uh, mod selection and everything. Uh, hope that helps. If you have any more questions, just let me know. Alright, thanks for watching. Great, subscribe and like.